What is up guys? Welcome back for another live in the OU tier. Today we are using a team that I found through Makati's Discord, um, Vikel Chaos. Um, I don't know exactly how to say your name, I'm sorry, but um, left the team in the pastebin chat, in the team submissions chat, and I actually really like it. It's, it's a very, very offensive team. Uh, I made a couple of modifications, very slight. Uh, to mainly Metagross's set. I took off Zen Headbutt for Earthquake because I was having trouble dealing with Heat Ran. But other than that, the uh, the team is very, very uh, strong, to say the very least. Uh, we have Scarf Genesect, uh, Z Conversion, Porygon Z, or Porygon Z Move, as some people like to call it. Life Orb Hoopa, Defensive uh, Mantine, Defogger, of course. Uh, we have uh, Marowak, uh, as our Thick Club Marowak. Uh, Lolan form of course and Mega Metagross. So let's jump into a game. Let's see if we can get one rather quickly I'm kind of uh, actually still pretty high on the ladder if I just close this and open it back up um, Where are we? Let's find out uh, I'm still 78th, so that's not bad at all. Honestly, that's pretty good So just need to get a few more points 72.5. That's actually uh, decently high compared to what I usually am uh, but 86 is obviously way way better Oh, I played this guy earlier. He has a sick team. I could not beat it. Played a little bit weird, but uh, he's number one for a reason. So, let's. Uh, I'm actually gonna pause it, guys, and we're gonna wait until we get a get a battle, and I'll be right back. And I love how as soon as I pause it, <laughs> I get a battle. You might have ca caught that uh, starting up um, as I paused it, but anyway. So uh, my opponent has a uh, pretty offensive team himself. Uh, I do see potentially Spadafrachi. Maybe defensive Mantine. I don't expect it to be Scarf Rachi. I'm actually expecting uh, Scarf Lando and Rocks um, Rocks Garchomp. So saying that, I'm just going to lead off with Genesect. It's the best lead overall. He's going to lead off with Venusaur. Very nice. We're going to get off a nice and juicy U-turn right here. If he decides to go out into Garchomp, he reveals his set to me, which is amazing. He's actually going to choose to stay in, which is awesome. Going to get this nice hit off. And I can just switch out into uh, Marowak rather safely as he goes for Hidden Power Fire. Sweet. And uh, now we're going to go for Stealth Rocks. So we're going to get him up. And if he wants to go into Mantine, that's fine. We are Thick Club. We're going to hit it extremely hard with Shadow Bone if he decides to def try to defog the rocks away. So that's going to be our play. Now what's my win con here? Okay, he decides to just stay in to Sludge Bomb me, which is resisted. All of his attacks are resisted, so I don't really see the point in staying in with Mega Venusaur and just letting it die, but <clears throat> anyway, to each his own. He's going to switch out now into Mantine and going to take a huge hit, like I said before. Shadow Bone's going to do upwards of 69%, um, and we're going to go for another Shadow Bone as he gets off of Defog, that's fine. Uh, his Mantine is now gone, which was a pretty big check to my Genesect, actually, uh, so I'm actually going to switch out here into my own Mantine. On his Lando, he's going to go for Knock Off, get rid of our item, I'm assuming that this thing is Scarfed. Uh, which is why I'm actually going to pull a double, a double into, what would he go into on this? Probably Venusaur, right? Do I take take this as a chance to get up rocks? Well, no, I can just go for Scald. Uh, he goes into Tapu Koko, so okay, so it's a good thing I didn't go into, uh, well, I mean, Marowak pretty much walls this too, so I'm actually going to go in, out into Marowak. He can't fire off an electric hit on me. He goes for Volt Switch, uh, maybe not knowing that this has Lightning Rod, but I'm going to go for Stealth Rocks right here. Uh, we're going to get him back up as his Landorus comes in. He has no more Defogger, so everything's going to be taking rock damage when it comes in. Uh, I don't really want to go into Mantine, but at the same time, I don't have an alternative play because this team is extremely offensive. He's just going to go for a U-turn. That's absolutely fine. Going to go out into Tapu Koko, which is also fine. Uh, he knows that I have the Marowak in the back, so I'm actually going to Scald here. He is going to go for the Dazzling Gleam, take Life Orb damage, and this Scald. Uh, and I think he forfeited just now because these came up, uh, which is a pretty good indication. As, yes, my opponent does forfeit, so we're going to move on into the next game. Uh, where does that put us on the, on the ladder now? I didn't even see how many points we gained from that. I always like to check, you know, when I'm, when I'm up here. Uh, 64th, okay, not bad. When I'm, I'm this high on the ladder, I like to check after each win to see how much progression we're actually getting. It's uh, just a little thing that I like to do. By the way, guys, uh, I'm going to be uploading a lot more often for OU Lives uh, anyway. Uh, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I changed my mind because there's something about the YouTube algorithm that I just found out uh, that kind of forces me to have to... Um, to have to upload videos almost every day, so it's... Um, I mean, it's, it's what my channel was before. Uh, I kind of slowed down a little bit, so it's going to be nice to get back into the uh, the swing of things. 
But yeah, just so you know, a lot more of these are going to be coming your way. So I'm going to lead off with uh, best party guest once again. Majorna is going to lead. That's absolutely fine. We're going to go for a U-turn right here. Uh, the only way he gets a uh, switch initiative. Okay, he goes straight out into Yuxi to take a huge hit. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to go out into Houdini now. And Houdini uh, gets off a very big dark pulse here. Unless he's faster than me, which he could be. He could also just go for a U-turn. But I actually don't think it'll kill from a Yuxi. Just gonna go for Dark Pulse. That is gonna be able to knock out the Uxie. That's awesome. That was one of his two stealth rockers gone. So that's cool. Majorna is gonna come in. Got a pretty good check to this in Mega, Mar in Mega Marowak. Alolan Marowak. Okay, so he's a Trick Room team. I should have seen that one coming. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go for Stealth Rocks right here. I don't expect him to want to stay in on a potential Flare Blitz. He's gonna go into Hoopa, but Hoopa is not faster than me under Trick Room. Uh, I'm actually faster than Hoopa. So I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz and knock this thing out. Awesome. And uh, he just gave me Trick Room with a very, very volatile Pokemon. Uh, he's going to go out into his own Marowak. I'm assuming this thing is min speed. I don't really want to stay in here. I'm going to go into uh, into Mantine on the Flare Blitz. We're going to be able to eat that up. Uh, I'm assuming Shadow Bone will kill from here. We'll see. Uh, no, it doesn't. Wow. Okay, cool. So we're able to get off a of Scald. He doesn't die, but the Trick Room is down now. Uh, so I could just fire off another Scald. Alternatively, I could go for a Roost, which is what I'm going to do. As he goes back into Majorna, this thing could have Volt Switch, uh, but I have no problem just going for a Scald right here. Uh, anything that switches in on Scald risks getting burned. Marowak is dead now because of the Stealth Rocks. Uh, Cresselia doesn't want to take a burn, and half my team deals with Cresselia anyway. And as you can see, my opponent's going to forfeit, so that's going to bring us up to 1648. Once again, right after a game, let's check our progression. 1648 we are now sitting right below Costa who was number one at some point uh, and we are 48th not bad okay let's get another one uh, just showing off the team a little bit so yeah like I was saying I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these so if you guys have any teams that you want to send me make sure to leave them in the description down below just leave a pace bin uh, you can leave the whole team if you want that just takes up a lot of room in the comment section though uh, so I highly recommend using pace bin if you haven't used it before uh, check it out, pastebin.com, and you can pretty much paste anything, create an account, uh, copy paste the, the link to the paste itself, and leave it in the comments down below. I'll use teams. Uh, I mean, I'm not too concerned with points because the tier is still going to change from here to the next month, month and a half from now. So, uh, if you guys didn't know, Lando I was actually banned. Uh, it was just banned as I'm recording this, so, um, yeah. <laughs> we don't have to deal with that thing anymore, which is very nice. So, my opponent has a very scary team as well. Um, I wish I, I kind of wish I had Thunder Punch right about now on Metagross, but, I mean, Ice Punch does a lot of damage to him anyway. So, what we're going to do is we're going to lead off with uh, Genesect again. Whew, who would have guessed? <laughs> Might try to keep this to a shorter episode. Like, let me know what you guys think of having, like, 15-minute episodes. Because if I can pull that off, I will. If it keeps you guys... Uh, if it makes you able to watch all the games in the episode just so you get an idea of the team, like if it, what I'm going for now is retention time. Like if I can keep you for the whole video, that's awesome. Like if you don't want to stay for the whole video, then that's that's on you obviously. But uh, if I can keep you here, that's that's just amazing. So I'm gonna go for flamethrower right here. He's gonna pull out the switch into Mantine. I figured as much. Uh, that takes absolutely nothing from plus one flamethrower, and uh, we are going to head out straight into. Our Hoopa, because um, I don't expect him to go back. He does, okay. Goes right back into Buzzwall, expecting me not to go for the... Uh, I kind of wish this was Psychic right about now, because I don't think this is going to knock him out. Um, I didn't expect him to uh, predict me to go for Flamethrower again, uh, which he didn't, so... so let's see. Um, let's go for Psyshock. You know what? We're not able to take him out. How much is he going to do to us? He's going to go for the Leech Life. That's going to easily knock us out. But he stays pretty low, which is nice. He has Leftovers as well, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm just going to go out into Metagross right here. Now, Metagross is very threatening to this thing because it is a Psychic type, so I don't expect him to switch in, which is why I brought this in. And I'm just going to go for the Meteor Mash. Let's see what his play is. I, am, I would assume Mantine, but we'll see. Uh, as he chooses to go out into his own Metagross. Okay, cool. So we have a potential to get an attack raise right here. We do not. That's okay, though. Uh, I'm just going to go for EQ now as he pulls out a switch into Mantine. Okay, scouting the set. Uh, I'm going to go for another Meteor Mash because... Okay, I, I figured he'd think that I have Thunder Punch, but I guess not. Uh, he's going to get a Crit Skull. No burn, luckily. Uh, we are going to keep this, however, and I'm going to go out into uh, my own Mantine. Kind of regret that play up right about now, but it's fine. Okay, he just goes for... Uh, 
for a scald. Uh, this is not gonna end, so I'm gonna actually pull a double here into Porygon Z, as he's gonna go for a roost. Awesome. Um, I could sweep with this, potentially, like right now, if I wanted to. So he has to be very careful about how- I'm gonna go for Th Thunderbolt, actually. Okay, it's not gonna be able to knock him out, and he's gonna go for Scald. It's gonna get 30% off, and he does get the burn, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna go for Z Conversion, because I wanna see what he does. We do have Recover as well, so we're fine. Uh, as he just goes for a Scald again, that's okay with me. I'm gonna go for Recover. And uh, now we're sitting pretty healthy, so that's nice. Uh, if he is Scarflando, he might outspeed us. So I'm just gonna go for another Recover right here. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go for another Recover. We're fine. We're okay. Uh, I don't know if Lando actually knocks me out. Uh, Tapu Bulu comes in. Okay, that's a little bit scary, but uh, Ice Beam's still gonna do a lot. I have 553 special attack. It might not be stab, but it's gonna do a good 75% easily to this thing. Maybe I shouldn't have set up so early, but I didn't really have a counterplay to that Mantine. That's like one of the things this team is extremely weak to. Uh, he goes for Leech Seed. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I'm assuming the Protect is gonna be coming my way here. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna go for a... Yeah, let's go for another Ice Beam. It's fine. Goes in a Buzzwall, which is not gonna take this at all. <laughs> that goes straight down. Uh, as he gave us Grassy Terrain too, so that's getting rid of the burn, which is nice. Uh, Metagross comes in, so that tells me that he's not Scarf Lando, because he would have gone into it by now. I'm just gonna fire off a T-Bolt, as he's gonna go out into Lando, okay. Uh, so I guess he's trying to wear me down. Uh, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam. Maybe he's trying to pivot around this. I mean, eventually I'm gonna call him on one of his bluffs. So, I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam here. If he's Scarfed and he outspeeds me, then going into Metagross didn't make any sense whatsoever. Uh, this is actually gonna knock out Mantine, which is very nice, as we still have the Grassy Terrain for that turn, so that's cool. Uh, Metagross is going to come back out. I'm just going to go for T-Bolt again, uh, as he is going to let me knock out his Metagross. Awesome. Okay, so Porygon putting in work, man. Yeah, we, we take that one. I really didn't expect to uh, to win that game. Damn. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're at 12 minutes. We'll get one more. Like I said, I want to keep this to about 16, 15 to 16 minutes. If we can get one more game and pull off another win, that would be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, where are we now? Well, we now... Okay, we get the Trick Room team again. We're 35th. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, if we can get, like, uh, 12 points, we'll move up into, to like, 28th place. Let's see if we can handle this team again. Let us see. All right, so we know that everything on his team is super slow, right? So let's lead off with... You know what? Let's just lead off with Genesect again. I mean, what, what, what do we lose by leading with this? Uh, he leads off with his uh, Uxie. I'm going to go for a U-turn. It's going to do a good amount, 41%. Going to go straight out into Marowak, which of course is faster than most of his team under Trick Room. And uh, I'm going to just go for a Shadow Bone, honestly, and knock this thing out. Beautiful. And the only thing that's slower than me is his own Marowak. So uh, we know what we have to do here. Uh, I'm going to go out into Porygon. Yes, that's right, Porygon. On his Shadow Bone, beautiful. That works out. He's probably going to go for Blitz right here, so I'm going to switch out into Mantine this time. Uh, as he goes for Swords Dance, actually, that's very scary. Um, I'm just going to go for Scald, though. He's going to go for Blitz. Uh, that's not going to knock us out, actually. And once again, the Trick Room goes down this turn, so uh, that's very nice for us. I'm just going to go for Scald again, because if I actually switch out into Marowak and he attacks me, I'm, I'm in a very, very bad spot. I expect him to go Majorna, but I'm not going to play off of it. Uh, that was a questionable... <laughs> Why are you speaking like Joey, guys? Why am I speaking like Joey, honestly? Like, this is... This channel is, like, copy-paste. No, it's not. It's not. It's my own thing, I think. I like, uh, I like where it's gone. Goes into Majorna. Risks the burn on the Scald. And we get it, of course. Uh, very unfortunate for my opponent. I'm actually probably faster than this, so I'm gonna go for a Roost right here. As he goes for the Trick Room, which is fine. Uh, and now we're gonna go for another Scald. Uh, as he goes for a Z move, uh, Twinkle Tackle, that does a lot. Wow. Um, he's probably going to knock us out on the following turn. So, what I'm actually going to do is uh, switch out into Metagross here. Metagross is probably my best play uh, because it doesn't allow anything to switch in. Uh, and I'm going to try to win this game. I'm not sure with what yet, but it does get the special attack drop, which is awesome. Uh, and we can just go for a Meteor Mash right here. As he's gonna switch in his Hoopa directly uh, into my Meteor Mash, and unfortunately we miss. Uh, he is faster than us right now because of the Trick Room, so that's very unfortunate. Uh, I think I'm actually just gonna go for. No, you know what? I'm gonna switch out into uh, into Mantine. Let it go down. That's fine. 
He is, of course, uh, Life Orb, which is great, uh, as we are able to now go out into Genesect. Fire off a U-turn. Nothing wants to switch in on this except for Buzzwool, uh, and Buzzwool gives me his free switch out into Hoopa or into Porygon Z. Either one, and I think my play is going to be Hoopa in this specific situation. Uh, realistically, guys, I actually think that Thunderbolt does more than Psy Shock. I'm, I'm not kidding. Like, this thing's special. Let me just show you real quick. Buzzwool, if you see this here, 139 defense, 53 spadef. So this thing can take hits on the physical side for days, but on the special side, not so much. We're going to Thunderbolt, down goes Majorna, amazing. Uh, we should be faster than the remainder of his team as well. I expect his own Hoopa to come in here, yep, there it is. And uh, we are going to fire off a Dark Pulse, because I don't realistically need this that much. Uh, he's going to go for a Trick Room, okay, so now he's faster. Uh, however, we already know that Marowak is faster than this, of course, uh, in the Trick Room, and Marowak destroys his team at this point. So I'm just going to throw out another Dark Pulse. He's going to go for a Drain Punch. That's actually not going to knock us out, and he is going to go down because of the Life Orb recoil. Uh, and I expect uh, either Buzzwool or definitely not Cresselia, because uh, Cresselia can't hit me with its stab. Unless it's got Moonblast, that's really the only thing. I think we got his Marowak in range of a Bullet Punch. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, because we didn't set up rocks this game and I was thinking about it, but I'm pretty sure it's in range. We'll see. He kept his buzzwall healthy, which was a very good play on his part. Even Trick Room is still checked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, man. Um, yeah, my, my Marowak shreds through him as well. Like, he has to go into his Marowak to prevent me from doing anything, basically. And this is fine, because I just let my Hoopa go down here. Uh, we know he's Thick Club. I'm going to go out into... Uh, Metagross right here because it's the only thing on my team with priority. Uh, we're gonna go for the bullet punch I don't know if he's gonna see it coming. He does he goes out into buzzwool very good play on my opponent's part However, the trick room is gonna end next turn So what I'm gonna do is meteor mash right here on his hammer arm, which is actually gonna knock us out surprisingly uh, And now this thing is faster than um, A vast majority of my team however uh, Well, it's faster than Marowak uh, which was Marowak. <laughs> Why did I? Why did I have, have so much intonation on that? Uh, we're going to go out into balloons, or balloons, uh, and we're going to go for a Thunderbolt straight away. Uh, we're not going to let this thing stay in here any longer. He's going to go out into Cresselia, that's fine. We're going to go for the Z Conversion. We are Adaptability Boosted Thunderbolt. It's Stab at plus one, so this is going to do a lot of damage. He's going to go for the Toxic. I'm sure this thing has Trick Room as well, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to get off a lot of damage right there. He is going to go for the Trick Room again. Uh, I'm actually not going to risk the um, the Marowak coming in. I'm going to go for Ice Beam here. Uh, we're going to try to stall out the Trick Room a little bit. Uh, he's going to go for Lunar Dance. Okay, so great play on my opponent's part. However, I don't think he takes me out at plus one. Uh, and his Trick Room is going to eventually fade away, uh, which will make my Marowak faster than his. So all we have to do here is actually just go for a Recover. On his Shadow Bone. That's actually going to knock us out. Wow. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to go into my Marowak. I'm going to force the Shadow Bone. And we're going to go out into uh, our Genesect right here. Let's see what he does. He does just go for the Shadow Bone. That's not going to knock us out. That's going to waste the last turn of Trick Room. And then we can go for a an Iron Head. He's going to knock us out with his Shadow Bone. But I think ours knocks him out as well here. So here we go. And this should be GG. Uh, mostly basic plays all around. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, man. I think that's GG. Let's see if we can knock him out with one Shadow Bone. If we can, that's game. Let's go, man. We're at 18 minutes. I want. It's already longer than I wanted it to be. Come on. J Tangarang. <laughs> like, I try not to predict on the ladder and then... <laughs> uh, GG, man. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. If you want to use the team alongside me, I'll leave a link to the paste bin in the description. Uh, the same one that I got, uh, with all the same nicknames if you like them. Uh, if not, you can just take them off. That's cool, too. But, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Ciao!